Hey guys, I'm Kyle. And I'm Mitchell. Together we're the founders of Mawesome Games, and we're going to give you a run through of TikTok. Here's our friend Professor Professorson. She's got a blueprint we'd really like to get our hands on, so let's help her find her dinosaur fossils that she's after. Well, how are we going to do that? We have this really neat time travel watch. Let's just go forward and backwards through time at will. So we're going to go to the future and find someone to give us some equipment that might come in handy. I could see getting some pretty useful equipment in the future. Absolutely. And the upside here is that uh, androids listen to us. We built them, they'll do what we ask. So if we ask them to put their weapons down and walk away, they will. Yeah. Oh, jetpack. That'll be useful to stay away from the dinos. It absolutely will. The laser gun should melt them to shreds. Now, the dynamic timeline it remembers absolutely everything. As we're travelling back through time, every building, every tree, every person is exactly where we left it when we travelled forward earlier. So if, I, if we go back to the future... All the buildings will be in the exact same place we left them? They absolutely will be. Huh. Just as will be all these dinosaurs. Speaking of the T-Rex we so desperately want... Jesus, uh, he's going to kill you. Yeah, he would if we didn't have this jetpack, for, no, sure. for sure. But right now I'm feeling pretty good about this. And I think Professor Sin might be as well. There we go. If she's not happy with the T-Rex skull that was freshly gotten, I don't know what she will be happy with. And that's a very good point. Oh, there goes the asteroid that wipes out the dinos. Poor things. And that's all right. What they we really it. want is to meet up with our old mate, Professor Sin. I think I might have seen her over there. Wait a minute, you're not Professor Sin. <laughs> it's close. There we go, here she is. Obviously in those few years decided to move continents, but that's cool. Each to their own. Now let's uh, give her this little present that we've bought her. And conveniently, she's dropped that little blueprint for us. So we're going to take that. Uh, are you going to make it? We are going to make it, but to do that, we need materials. Huh. Well, we can get some materials here. They're more closely guarded and more sparse. If we go back to caveman times, there's a lot more to work with. That's a good point. Here we go. In fact, there's some iron right here. Let's work with that, shall we? Let's hope the caveman doesn't get at you for stealing his precious metals. I don't think he's going to care too much, to be honest. There should be enough iron. And if we craft this now, we get a very fancy weapon. What does it do? Ah, now that's something super interesting that I want to show you. But before that, we probably don't need both weapons, so let's uh, do a bit of a trade with this caveman. I think he'll get a lot more use out of the laser gun than we will, and a melee weapon might come in rather handy at this stage. So let's uh, give him that. Let's take that club. Swap it out for the pickaxe. And let's head back to the dinosaurs. Well, what are we going to do there? We already killed them. Remember that asteroid that killed them before? Mm -hmm. Well, if we arrive in enough time... Oh, Ooh, no, Jesus. we didn't arrive in enough time, apparently. Let's just go back a little bit. Okay. We arrive in enough time. We can use this weapon, not only as a weapon, but also as a form of bouncy gel. First, let's get rid of these guys. Wow, they really want you dead. Even they really, to really, really do want me dead. If only they knew better. There we go. Now... <laughs> that was pretty effective. I'll give it was that. pretty effective, and as you can see... The dinosaurs are absolutely still alive. So much so that they've gone and evolved. That little raptor there is a bit of a nuisance, but this guy, he suddenly evolved quite a bit. Drinking away at his tea. He's even got a laser rifle, that's he cool. He does. Well. Fortunately, he's got some bad news about the state of the uh, human race, though. Apparently, we've all gone extinct. There's one right there. There is one, but not a lot. And of course, it'd be nice to go and see some more friends and get a few more rewards. That's true. So, um, let's get going back there, but before we do, um, that gun does look rather useful, and this guy's not very good at melee. We just get in at his base there, there's very little he can do to us. This reminds me of all uh, the JRPGs I've ever played. Hit the big <laughs> creature in the toe till it's dead. Indeed. There we go. Let's uh, equip the giant laser rifle and uh, go on a bit of a journey. Let's just jump back a little bit and let the asteroid kill the dinosaurs. Well, we don't like them anymore. Well, I'd prefer to have them gone if it's the difference between humanity or not. And let's stop here. Oh, see what's going on here? They're not looking too good at all. No. Um, it's probably the plague, actually. There's a little something we can do about that. Let's uh, just travel forward a little bit. Don't have to go too far forward, just to the modern day. And there we go. Hey, look, it's the Doctor. I've always liked the Doctor. Absolutely. Now, the Doctor doesn't typically like guns, but he's never seen anything quite like this. You'll quite happily do a trade for that first aid kit. Yeah, I'd trade a giant laser gun for a first aid kit. <laughs> yeah, we travel back. Let's find poor sick guy. Of course, 
He might be sick now, but if we give him this, we might be able to distribute the cure amongst all his friends. And with that, they'll all be in much better shape. Well, what will that mean for the humans? Let's have a look, shall we? Wow, there's a heap of them. There are a heap of them. They're all pretty happy with us, but along with lots of human comes the, and human, humans rather comes the need for more land. And despite the fact they're happy, many of them want to be going to war for more land, which is something they have every right to do. Um, and of course, as things evolve, they evolve differently on the different lands. If we increase the intelligence on this land by having more people, they might go to war. They might be more effective in war. They might also evolve in the future to have much better technology. Let's head to the future and check that out. Yeah, surely we can find something cooler than a laser gun. Absolutely we can. Alrighty, let's see what we've got. Whoa, okay, no, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay. What the hell are those things? These guys are anomalies, and anomalies are other time travellers. Things that right now, we're not really all that capable to deal with. They'll chase you through time, relentlessly. I reckon we can take him out with this, so if we ask our little android friend if we can borrow his mech, things should go a little bit better. Now let's uh, use our radar to hunt down these anomalies, eh? That's a good plan. Oh, here we go, here we go. Have we got what it takes? Oh, oh these guys no. have shields. Oh, oh no! Poor Professor Sin! That's all your fault. Yeah, collateral damage, collateral damage. It's alright, we can save her if we go back in time. Ah, but now these guys can't follow us, and we've succeeded. That's just a bit of a taste of what we have in store for you with TikTok. We're excited to show you so much more. And to do that, we need you to get excited and show all your friends. The more people that know about it, the more successful we'll be. Thanks very much, and we look forward to seeing you in January 2015. See you in the future. Or the past. <laughs>